Kyrie Irving is back at it again. He scored 50 points against the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's right, he scored 50 points. He is showing us why he is still the real deal. This man is a primetime player, he is a baller, and he is going to lead the Nets to the playoffs. Prior to this game, I had my doubts about that. But oh yeah, the Nets are going to the playoffs. This man, Kyrie Irving, put forth a great effort. His handle is unlike nothing I've ever seen before. He by far had the best handles in the NBA. There's no debate about that. No disrespect to Steph Curry or James Harden, but Kyrie Irving is the king of handles. This man was shooting the ball. He has dexterity. He can finish with either hand in the lane. And a lot of people don't talk about this, but he is a great passer. And he showed us all of this against the Timberwolves. So great times are ahead for the Brooklyn Nets. I'm happy for Kyrie. It's unfortunate that he flamed out in Boston. It's unfortunate that things did not work out there, but he's found a new home with the Nets. And so far, so great. The Nets are going to be exciting to watch. They're gonna sneak up on a lot of teams. Don't be surprised if they make a deep run in the playoffs as well. They could possibly make it to the Eastern Conference Finals with Kyrie at the helm. And I'm noticing a change in Kyrie. He seems very happy. At Boston, he seemed very melancholy. He seemed disconsolate. He seemed very sad. He was very moody. But I'm not seeing that in Brooklyn. He seems very upbeat. He seems more energetic. And his teammates seem to be feeding off of him as well. So the Nets got a nice upgrade at, the, at that position. No disrespect to uh, D'Angelo Russell because he did his thing last season for the Nets. The thing is, Kyrie is an upgrade. No doubt about that. And this man still got it. I'm just hoping that he can stay healthy because as we know, the injury bug seems to bite Kyrie a lot. But I'm gonna knock on wood. I'm gonna hope that he stays healthy because this team feeds off him. And we can see what he can do with the ball in his hands. I mean, he's gifted, man. He's got N1 handles. I, I just haven't seen any basketball player dribble the ball like him. It's special. Those handles are just, wow. It's even hard to, to break it down. It's just special. That's what you just have to say. He's just so creative with the ball in his hands. And then he can shoot. And on top of that, he can pass too. People don't talk about his passing a lot. But this man is a great facilitator with the ball in his hands. So he is the real deal. This man knows what he's doing when he's on the court. And he is the one, he is one of the most unstoppable players. No doubt about that. And like I said, I got the Nets going to the playoffs and they'll win more games. I know they lost to the Timberwolves. I believe the score was what, 127 to 126. And even that last second shot that he attempted, I thought it was going in. Usually when a player falls like he did, the ball usually goes out of bounds. But this man is so gifted with the ball, he was able to maintain his dribble despite losing his balance and still hoisted up a shot. And that shot almost went in. This man is special. He is gifted. And when Kevin Durant comes back, him and Kevin Durant are going to cause headaches in the Eastern Conference. Him and Kevin Durant, I think, will be unstoppable. So look out for that too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You should definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. If you did that, I'd greatly appreciate it. And plus, you wouldn't miss out on any future content that I post. So you definitely should subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.